Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different. I'm gonna be taking you guys along my first drive here in the GT500 with the track pack. Obviously, I just took delivery of this, and in the delivery video, we drove around the corner, but in today's video, I'm actually gonna be driving it probably like, oh, uh, maybe almost 100 miles, not quite, maybe closer to like 80 miles. And so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it drives on the highway and all that kind of stuff, and I guess I'll just tell you guys <laughs> what it's like. If you're wondering why I'm driving it, because well, even though there's not snow on the ground, which you can't see because the light's so bright, um, I, I tried. Even though there's not snow on the ground, it's like 30 degrees outside, which is not great for this car that has literally track tires on it. And so a little bit nerve wracking, but I, I have to take it out because I have to get it inspected. And so, yeah, that was a weird start to a video. Anyways, let, let's just get into it. Well, first things first, we got to start it up and this car is so stupid loud. My T-Rex had an aftermarket exhaust, which made it very loud. This is louder stock. Every single time, I mean, this thing is ridiculous. And actually we're gonna see if we can uh, close those. Let's put it to quiet mode. I mean, quiet mode is quite a bit better in terms of like the overall volume. But I mean, this thing is still, it's, it's ridiculous that just this car is this loud and this crazy from the factory. It's, it's and it's a Mustang. <laughs> That's the funniest part. So I'm looking at the car in the driveway here and man, this thing looks so cool. Obviously it's super dirty because it was just on a transport truck for like half a week or something like that. But still, I mean, video and everything just doesn't do the track pack justice. In person, this thing just looks so insane for a Mustang. Again, like the giant spoiler, I know that some people might say that it's a little bit like tuner car-ish, but I, I like it quite a bit, it looks crazy. And then the carbon fiber wheels, again, on camera, they don't pop out too much, but like in person, you see them and you're like, those wheels mean business. Okay, well, this is by far the most difficult part of daily driving this car, I can tell already. And that is just simply getting out of the driveway. <laughs> It, this car doesn't look like it's that low when you look at the front end and everything, but my driveway is sloped just enough. Oh, perfect. So I basically like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like I am literally like angled completely sideways. That's the only way I can get on my drive without scraping the front end is I have to be like completely to the side. Oh, okay. So a couple of things that I have discovered by driving this, like maybe half a mile at this point. First off, the suspension's actually still really comfortable, just like the regular GT500. Like this would actually be a pretty comfortable daily driver from that perspective. However, the Recaro seats, not nearly as comfortable as the seats in the base GT500. So if you're looking for a more daily driver car, kind of like I expected, yeah, that's gonna be more daily drivable with the seats. And then the next thing is potholes are the Achilles heel for this car. You can't, you just can't go over them. I didn't hit a pothole, don't worry. I didn't, I didn't break one of my $6,000 carbon fiber wheels, but like, you can just tell like I, I could like the side uh the sidewall on the tires and everything it's just it's just not meant for that kind of stuff so it it makes driving interesting because like i'm having to dodge stuff all over the road which i don't normally have to do in a regular car because like in a truck or something you just drive right over it you're like i got 37s i'm fine whereas in this it's like oh there is a little crack in the road i better i better avoid that so i don't break these wheels so it's kind of it's kind of nerve-wracking to drive the next thing i'm noticing is that the transmission on this is so good um for a dual clutch it doesn't really have any low speed shakiness which is really impressive um obviously super quick with the shifts but the downshifts are also really smooth as well and so like if you just take the transmission with this car and you take the suspension it's it, i wouldn't call it like a full-on luxury car but like it's pretty dang good. Finally got up to higher speeds and this car is so insanely comfortable. Like I'm super impressed actually. And the RPMs stay pretty low actually when you're like at higher speeds too. So like the engine's quiet. It's such a nice car. Like for a Mustang, wow. Now what I will say uh, that I have noticed is that there are some rattles in the interior, which yeah, it's a hundred thousand dollar car. So that's kind of disappointing. But at the same time, it's also a Mustang. So it's like, it's kind of expected. Again, this is ultimately like a twenty-something thousand dollar rental car. Well, actually, with inflation, it's probably like thirty thousand dollars for a base model Mustang at this point. I forgot. So, a thirty thousand dollar rental car that has been given an insane engine and then an insane transmission and then obviously carbon fiber parts and everything. So, of course, you know the build quality of like the base car itself isn't going to be all that great. So, it's it's kind of expected, but at the same time, it's. I don't know, you thought that Ford to do a little bit more to make it, I guess, a little bit less rattly. So I'm on like University Boulevard or something like that here in Provo, and uh, this is where the car is kind of falling apart. Not like it's breaking or anything, but 
the suspension's stiff enough that like going over just the connections here on the road, or actually, is it, no, I'm not in University Parkway. I don't even know my roads here. Apparently, even though I live in Utah, I don't know where I actually am. Um, University Avenue, that's what I was on, not Parkway, Ave whatever. I don't even know what I said. But anyways, regardless, um, yeah, every single time I go over one of the connections, it just like bump, 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 bump. It's not super uncomfortable, but it's kind of annoying. And I actually have a slight headache from it. So um, yeah, not exactly uh, University Avenue approved. So Utah State Safety Inspection hasn't been a requirement for a few years. And so finding a place that actually still had someone that was certified to do state inspections was actually very difficult. Um, the dealership that I went to, the Dodge Ram and Provo, literally has one person that's still certified to do the inspection. That's just the world we live in. And so if you buy a car out of state, if you live in Utah and you buy a car out of state, you have to get inspected. And well, good luck trying to find someone to, well, I guess, the Dodge Ram Provo, they've got one person, but that's crazy. Well, I just got finished with my lunch meeting and you know, so far I am like absolutely in love with this car. Now I only have 50 miles on the car, which is almost as many miles as the other GT500 that I just sold. Um, Cause I sold it with like 60 miles on it. But yeah, there's just something so special about this car. Uh, it just, it, it drives so well. Um, it's like I said, suspension's really comfortable. It, it's like it's on rails. I mean, the handling's crazy. The carbon fiber wheels, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. They do make a difference. Um, like you can, like I had a lot of people tell me, oh no, you can't feel a difference when you're on road. You can only feel a difference when you're on track. Uh, BS, like you can actually perceive a difference on road because this thing, when I turn it in, like the regular GT500 turns in really well, but this, it's on a whole nother level. Like you literally do not feel like anything, like there's no weight. It's so crazy to me. Um, it's an insane experience. And the car is just like, it's such a riot to drive. Like you don't even have to go that fast to have fun in it because it sounds so good. So like the transmission being as responsive as it is, it's fun to just go through the gears. And yeah, when you can get on it a little bit, that also adds to the fun, but like, you know, if I if I didn't drive so many miles in a state with the worst drivers on the planet, I would probably daily drive this. Now, obviously, if I wanted to daily drive, I would have kept the one that I had. Since this is going to be, you know, the fun weekend toy, it's not going to happen. Um, but like, uh, taking this out like on occasion to work, you know, and then driving on the weekend, I don't think there's a better car for for me personally right now because this, I don't know, this just does everything so well. Again, like I said, it's comfortable with the daily drive. It's super fun at low speeds and at high speeds, and it's, it's just a really well-built car, despite the fact that there are some rattles. It's a Mustang though, you gotta forgive it. But despite that, it's so fun. And then also this thing actually, even though it's white, it gets a lot of attention. I didn't think I was gonna get any attention because I'm like, oh, it's just a white Mustang. But yeah, everyone looks at this thing. Maybe it's the giant carbon fiber spoiler on the back end, I'm not sure, but <laughs> it, it gets it gets a bit. Um, but yeah, that's gonna sum things up for a video talking about you know my first drive here. Uh, if there's anything else that pops up, I guess I'll like film another clip, but I, doubt it. Um, I'm basically just going to be finishing my daily drive back home filming some car reviews. You know the normal Ben Hardy stuff. Um, but you know, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited and I thought that I was going to sell this car when the Z06 comes, when I get my Z06 allocation. But now that I've driven this, I don't think I ever want to get rid of this car.